Sunshine Sterling. Willie Rain Cloud. It's time for three up, three down. This is the Sports Source. All right, welcome back into the show. Three up, three down, brought to you by Games and Things. 40 years, that is how long East Tennesseans have been turning to Games and Things for their entertainment needs. That's ping pong tables, dart boards, pool tables. Uh, they've, got all of, they've got foosball tables, air hockey. Uh, they've got arcade games. And then if you're looking for pub tables, bar stools, they've got that. Oh, yeah, home theater seating as well. They do it all. Games and Things, you can find out more at OurGameRoom.com or you can go visit them. Uh, they do terrific work. Scott and Lisa Mellon, good folks. Games and things. All right. Sunshine Sterling, Willie Raincloud are out here, and they're joined by David Ubbin, <laughs> who's going to kind of be our catch-all guy. So if you hear something you disagree with, jump in. <laughs> and if we get to the end, it's like, I don't know, you guys left out somebody, feel free. Uh, I want to start with the ups. Up number one, Sterling Hint. Up number one is the orange gray area, baby. Dr. Gray running that rock, baby. I mean, he's doing things every time he touches it. He's running the ball and scoring. He's catching the ball and scoring. He's been having explosive plays on offense for us. Gray, don't stop, baby. In town, represent. I like it, baby. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see if Will Overstreet can top that. that yeah, no, we're not going to do that this week. Uh, I, you know, hard game to put, pick a lot of bad out. But, you know, you have a split, couple things on special teams. Brooks, you can't be kicking out of bounds. You can't get a team back in. Special teams plays like that are going to help the other team get back into a game. you got to find a way to put away people. And if you do those little things wrong at the end, that's how you keep it going, and that's how you can see the course of the momentum be reversed. Cool. All right, so Eric Gray is up number one. Paxton Brooks down number one. Up number two. Up number two. We going to my QB, JG. Oh, baby. Come on, baby. Still no interceptions. Hell in the office. Moving down the field. Hey, he scored twice on rushes. Threw one. I love what my fifth year senior is doing, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do in Georgia. My second up, JG, in the place to be at QB. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. Street. Well, last year, this man gave this other guy a name, Automaglia. <laughs> Except Automaglia is not that way this year, Mr. Sterl. So well, I don't know what you did, but this year it ain't working. It's COVID-19, man. It's COVID-19. That's yeah. what's up. He's coming back. 24 of 28 last year, and he started out one of three this year. Yeah. Uh, now, South Carolina... One of those misses, got broke through the line, was in his face. I don't know if that impacted him, but one of three, I don't think anybody anticipated Automaglia not, uh, not picking up where he left off. Uh, up number three, Sherling Hinton. Up number three, I'm going to the second hit half of that two-headed monster we got running the ball for us. And the sun is shining just like Chandler, Arizona. Mr. Chandler, baby, Ty is always fly when he got the rock. He's trying to get to the zone when he touches it, and he opens up holes. So when the gray comes, it just holds there. He takes to the house, and he also levels it down with different schemes the defense can do so JG can throw the rock. I'm going with Chandler, baby. Ty Chandler, back in here one more game. <laughs> That's a lot to Down go number on three. Where are you going? This stuff. Well, listen, when you have a game like this, you have to find other ways to pick stuff. And so the down this week was, of course, the C Note Casino. <laughs> it put a lot of money out there, but it created a line that made everybody go above it and take the balls. Come on, C Note. You got to do better than that. <laughs> He messed C-note. up the baseline quotient. That means he messed up the baseline <laughs> Chuck quotient. Chuck C-note, C-note, uh, Casino takes the loss. David Oven, are there any ups and downs they left out of their individual performers? You know, when you're dominating like that, there's not a lot of downs. When we're, when we're getting to the C-note, Casino is a down. You know. Yeah. It's <laughs> short list. <laughs> right. I, think the, I think the ups, you know, the safeties, they fixed some of that stuff. Danico Slaughter, you know, we didn't see a ton of him. Credit to, to Jalen McCullough, Theo Jackson, Trey Flowers. They kind of moved Jackson those guys. Jackson pick, yep. yeah. Yeah, they moved those guys down. They were, they were a lot better uh, in the slot. They're still trying to work without uh, Sean Schamber there at star corner. And then I picked Jalen Hyatt to be Tennessee's number two receiver uh, this season by the time the season ended. Uh, he was MIA week one, anything but uh, week two. The first catch, a nice little fade route from the slot. Perfect ball from JG. Nice adjustment on the sideline. I mean, that was not a true freshman play. Uh, yeah. And he's speedy. Yeah, Garantano likes him, trusts him. Uh, you got to like what you saw from your freshman receiver yesterday. Yeah, uh, and I'll give DeAndre Johnson uh, credit yes. for another sack another as well. One. And another hurry. Uh, he's gotten off to a hot start. Uh, the uh, the Jalen Hyatt, 
this, you could go back to why they were stupid. There was a close situation. He ran out of bounds. I don't know if you guys caught it. The slap. He goes out of bounds. <laughs> There's a guy sitting there from Missouri, no helmet on. And I saw the, the reaction on social media was, he just accidentally touched the guy. I thought he put his hand to his face and slapped it. Plausible so. deniability. I was trying to well, stop he myself. The yeah, deniability. yeah. He, he ground to a halt with the guy's face. Which, okay, uh, maybe it was accidental, but you get the wrong ref yeah. on the wrong yeah. day, you can get a flag there. But, but yes, people had been wanting to see Jalen Hyatt this whole off season. He'd gotten a lot of hype here in August. And I think you saw why mm -hmm. yesterday. That I also want to give an honorable mention to uh, Mr. Banks. I mean, last week, the unfortunate situation of him playing passionately and not able to control his emotions in a couple of situations. And we, uh, you know, will understand things as a defensive player. Uh, you know, he got baited a few times when he made a couple of plays from the different from the Missouri players on the sidelines, and he walked away. They were definitely trying to bait him. They there baited, and he walked away. So salute you, sir. That's a good one. That's yes, a good sir. Up. Yes, right. sir. Very good. Uh, when we come back, not that you would throw out something that isn't good. <laughs> that isn't good. Me? <laughs> when we come back, we'll look at the Vols road ahead. We've got three more questions on the Vols. We've got game picks, but let's talk a little bit about Georgia. Let's talk about Jeremy Pruitt's view of Georgia. Let's talk about other future foes around the SEC for the Volunteers. That's next on the Sports Source. Come on back.